I think you're gonna do great with it. But I've gotta be able to say, you know what, when I jump in, I've gotta add enough value that this company, instead of being worth seven million, can be worth 80 million, 90 million. I just don't see that progression. And for that reason, I'm out. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be showing you the top three successful real estate deals in the Shark Tank and the very first deal or the very and top most and the most successful real estate product is Ring, formerly known as DoorBot. First into the tank is a product to ensure you always know who's at your front door. Sharks, wouldn't it be nice to know who was behind the door before you let me in? With my product, you can. My name is Jamie Simonoff. I'm from Los Angeles, California. My product is the DoorBot. I'm seeking $700,000 for a 10% stake in the company. Introducing the DoorBot, the first ever video doorbell built for the smartphone. With DoorBot, you can see and speak with visitors from anywhere. Think of it as caller ID for your front door. <laughs> I think we can get them to go all royalties and no equity. <laughs> Mark, we know that no real entrepreneur is going to accept that deal. And now you can tell Mr. Wonderful to scram. And the best thing is you can do it without having to be face to face with him. Now, sharks, join me. And the next time you hear, it'll be. Now, who wants to be first to ring my bell? It started with Laurie. Laurie said that she doesn't see it selling in QVC. She said she doesn't really connect. What is even that? <laughs> she doesn't connect with the product or the price point and you know, doesn't see how it's going to fit into the overall overarching. Hold on a second. I'm gonna jump in here. I think that you have potential to do a lot more with this, but I'm not connecting to that this does enough at this time to distinguish itself is different from what else is out there on the market for the higher price point. And so for that reason, I'm out. Okay. Jamie is quoted saying that Lori told him that he would never be able to sell in QVC. And before I get ahead of myself, he ended up selling almost $22 million in QVC when he launched there at the first go. <laughs> Funny how these things happen. The, me the next person to come with the critique was who other else but Mark Cuban. I think you're going to do great with it. But I've got to be able to say, you know what, when I jump in, I've got to add enough value that this company, instead of being worth $7 million, could be worth $80 million, $90 million. I just don't see that progression. And for that reason, I'm out. I, I'm wrestling with where this goes in the market. I just don't think it's for me. I'm out. Personally, and he was out just like that. And he even made jokes after, he said, what happened to peeping out the window when somebody knocks? I mean, Barbara gets all of the jokes and all of the I'm out sort of conversations and memes and all of that. But I feel like they... <laughs> they <laughs> Freaks me out a little bit. That price point is gonna start dropping quickly as your volumes go up. For that reason, I'm out. Sorry about that. Don't, Don't send him to my house. It's just, it's just you and you now. But Robert said he's coming from a cybersecurity background and it's spooky, it's scary. Every no he was told, Jamie started to almost tear up. <laughs> they were running, they were out of money. They were going bust. He had already spent one month preparing for the pitch and he spent $10,000 in props. Each single one of those entrepreneurs cheaped at his confidence. You made a few jokes about Mr. Wonderful at the beginning and about the royalty structure. Am I gonna regret that, Mr. Wonderful? <laughs> the only person left is Mr. Wonderful. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you $700,000. I want a 10% royalty. That drops down to seven after I recoup the 700,000 and I get 5% of the company's equity today. As expected, <laughs> and as is usually the case, all road led to Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> but respectfully, I can raise that money through venture debt or line of credit or something else. So. Then why That's don't you, the kind why of why don't you counter me with a venture debt offer? 
So I would do $700,000 for a 10% interest rate with a 3% equity kicker. No, I'm not interested. What's the difference between the interest and the royalty? The interest is cheaper. The interest I can get yeah. rid of. You I can, can get... pay you back. Oh, so you don't like the, the royalty and perpetuity aspect. Absolutely. But I took the risk up front. I believed in you, the only shark I might add that did. 700,000 is a lot of money up It time. is a lot of money. Absolutely, it's, it's a lot of money. Since Mr. Wonderful was the only one still in the game, he was more rigid. And obviously, he walked out of that deal. I made you a very valid offer, I think, under the circumstances. Respectfully, Mr. Wonderful, we're gonna decline. Go kick some ass, Jamie. Thank okay. you very good much. Luck, Jamie. Yeah, good luck, Thanks, Sharks. There was a moment where he actually considered it. I would have done that to you. Whatever happened to peeking through the window and saying, go away? <laughs> Mr. Wonderful gave us an offer for just royalties on the company, and I don't believe you can build a big company having one person take 10% of the sales for life. Jimmy said that the next year, after it was recorded and then it went on air, it went live, they made $3 million in sales that same year. And in four years time, they were valued at $1 billion and they were bought by Amazon. And in fact, Kevin O'Leary went online and on air to say that he did see that this guy could have been very, very successful. But I mean, you win some, you lose some. I think giving anybody $700,000 is a full offer, and there's a reason they call me Mr. <laughs> Wonderful. I was the only shark to make any kind of an offer. We didn't see eye to eye, and of course, like everybody else, when I saw the deal across the tape last night, I said, Ichi wawa caramba. I couldn't believe the price tag. <laughs> Unbelievable. But Kevin, Kevin, clearly uh, you did offer a loan, but you must be annoyed that you didn't strike a deal of some sort. As Shark Tank misses goes, this must be one of the biggest. Probably cost him about a hundred million dollars <laughs> because that's, that's what his exit would have been if he invested at least a hundred million dollars because he was going to get 10% equity. What did we learn from this? It tells you that you need to have an independent type of thinking as an investor to first of all see potential in both the person and also in the product. And there went a hundred million dollars. That's not any small money. That's a lot of money. And so if you're thinking of making a successful real estate investment, contact me to get you started on your journey. This is Uchi Philippe Modi from the Only Home, the NTTV show. Here at Only Home, we believe that owning a home, owning a property should not make you lose sleep. So we're committed to giving you the very best property recommendations and insider real estate deals. Kindly like, kindly share, kindly subscribe, and I'll see you at the very next video. Bye-bye.